Welcome to Big Boss Battle. My name is Ramil Sassi, and today we are looking at Unbox Newbies Adventure from the developer Prospect Games, and this is for the Xbox One. So what is Unbox Newbies Adventure? Well, the best way I can describe this game, it is a colorful 90s 3D platformer, and you take the character of a cardboard box wafting around three large worlds that's right you are a cardboard box so what is the premise of the game the global postal service was going through a bit of a tough time and was heading towards bankruptcy so they decided to fire all their workers and create sentient boxes that would deliver them themselves as with anything if you mess with the natural order of things something's about to go wrong and something has they don't quite know what it is but certain boxes are turning against a global postal service so how do they resolve this well they have created you their most intelligent and sentient new board cardboard box and it's up to you to try and find out what's going wrong and put a stop to it And this leads me on to the gameplay. First up, the control system. Now the control system is very simple to use. You go forward, you go forward, you go left, you go left. But there is a big problem with Newbie. He is a box, or actually he's a cube. Now imagine rolling a cube. Great for a straight line, but the moment you want to turn right or turn left, you have a slight problem. And it's not as quick and not as easy to turn as some may like. So there is a little bit of a learning curve with the control system. Uh, once you get past that though it does get quite fun and it does get quite smooth but you do have to work out you know, how to move a box uh, left or right very quickly now as with any cube you're not going to get very far um, by just simply rolling you've got to have something unique and this is what newbie has newbie has an unbox speciality and what this is is basically it's a super jump essentially and you can chain up to about six of these which is they're like health points so every time you uh, unbox yourself you lose a health point you don't actually die you just lose that jump uh, point and then you have a little bit less health for when you get attacked um, this means that you can go over very very large distances in one go and there's a variety of puzzles and problems that you will need to use this jump in order to solve. The story starts with you being dropped off on one of the very first of three islands. This is a tropical paradise. Um, the idea is that you have to collect stamps in order to meet the actual boss of that level then you can progress forward to the next level now getting stamps uh, is quite challenging and actually really fun there's a variety of different ways you can go about this there are hidden places for you to find basically hidden races um, challenges and also a variety of little characters which you can defeat in order to get these stamps once you've got a certain number of stamps you can move forward attack the boss if you beat him move to the next level now besides stamps there's also a collectible for you to find on each level there is 200 gold tapes hidden around these very large levels for you to find but What's the, you know, what's the incentive for you to actually get them? Well, one of the good things about this game is that you can customise your character right from the beginning. And getting a variety of these tapes unlocks more uh, customisable options for your character. At any point throughout the game, you can go to a bar shop and basically change your character's look on the fly. This is really good. Um, and I found myself getting quite addicted trying to find the 200 tapes so I could get that specific headband or little character skin for my box. 
now with any decent platformer there is enemies so what are these enemies well these enemies are boxes that's right enemy boxes bad guy boxes if you will now how do you get away from these bad guy boxes well you have to use your super jump or your unbox and then smash down onto these boxes thus basically making them dizzy and break up uh, there isn't too many enemies uh, populating around the island, but it does provide some break up from just searching around the island looking for gold tape or looking for new challenges or new hidden stamps. I actually really quite like the little break ups and little mini fights I got in with these evil boxes. Um, it was fun, it was quite laughable, and it wasn't too hard to get rid of them, it wasn't too difficult. It was quite a cutesy, enjoyable little way to go around. Besides the large single player campaign with its numerous collectibles, numerous challenges and large big three open world areas, there is also a local multiplayer on hand too. Uh, this part is for like a race mode for you and your friends and you have to beat your friends to be the first to deliver yourself. It's a nice little extra in there and it also gives something else if you'll get a bit bored with the actual single player campaign. Next up is the graphics of the game. Now, as you can tell on screen, obviously there's been a lot of love and care gone into this game. Attention has been paid to make the environments look large and full of color. The characters are bright and crisp, and the actual game itself is a beauty to behold. This is perfect for young children or adults with a young heart like myself. The graphics itself is pretty clear and it does have long draw distances though which you'd expect from a game like this however there is the odd pop-up where you'll get a few foliage just decide to turn up in you know as you get close to it this is not too often and it actually happens on a rare occasion but to be honest with you you'll be playing this game and you won't really notice it that much it's beautifully drawn beautifully bright and it gives you a smile as you play it so what about the sound for the game? Well, the same thing has happened here for the sound as well. The game has a quite a fun, little frolicky sort of music in the background and that continues through all the different levels. It's different for each level, but it's that quite joyful little atmosphere it provides. Uh, this doesn't, however, stop the punchier sounds, which is like when you come to explosions. They come through crisp and clear when coming through on a headset or even on a TV. It's, it can be told that the game's been done with a lot of love and attention. Uh, one thing I will add is that the voice work, well, it's not voice work, let's face it, it's basically a variety of little noises the characters make. They don't actually make human sounds, they make box sounds. It's like, beep, 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 which is great for, you know, as I said, the younger children. Uh, as an adult, I didn't find it too onerous either. I actually quite enjoyed it. Um, and it harps me back to the 90s era, to be honest with you. Uh, so, this is really good. I actually quite like the cutesy, cuddly sound effects that this gave. Um, and it just basically brought back my childhood in a great way. So, what do I think about the game? Well, I give Unbox Newbies Adventure a big fat thumbs up. And this is for the following reasons. This is a great little family fun adventure. When I say family fun, I do mean that it's fun for all family from any ages. Now, don't get me wrong, the older generation, like myself, might have a little niggling with the control system. But the younger generation will have no problems working around this, picking it up and just flying through it with no problems. The graphics are beautiful and crisp. The sound has such a cutesy effect to it that it makes you smile. And the price isn't too bad either. Currently on the Xbox, it is around $22, which basically translate into about 18 19 pounds um, this is a great value it's going to provide you a lot of gameplay time here um, and as for a family thing as i said it will provide great fun for the whole family anyway i hope you enjoyed this review and if you do please tell us we do like to read your comments until next time have a great time gaming